Okay guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a 2005 Mercury Montaneer uh, six cylinder. We got a Halstein uh, ABS sensor. There's a part number here. Uh, this is specifically for the right rear wheel. It's a different part number for the opposite side. So inside the dash, we got a whole bunch of lights. See these lights? Uh, ADV track off on the other side check ADV track and it's telling you to check all kinds of crazy stuff but I scanned the car it's giving me a code for a right rear wheel speed sensor which is right over here we're gonna take this wheel off and I know she had a bad bearing the the, the bearing was so bad the, the ABS was getting hit so ABS sensor was getting hit so we're gonna replace it today anyways I want to run the car like an idiot, but let's take off that wheel and get to work. Okay, so far we got our light down there. I got my sensor here, new sensor. I'm gonna show you guys that. Uh, I got a couple of tools. So let me just grab my light. So our ABS sensor pretty much sits right here. I want to show you guys before anything. Uh, let's, this is an eight millimeter. And let me see if I could break this loose. Is this an eight millimeter? Yep. It might not be an eight millimeter, but it fits on it. As long as it fits on it, it will come off with it. So socket would be your best bet. But I'm gonna show you guys this sensor. It runs from, so as you can see the skid marks on this uh, ABS uh, relector wheel, that's what they call it, it's part of the axle. So let me see if I can take this off by hand now. Okay, this little guy did all these teeth, that's what it reads. So when the bearing went bad, this thing was hitting the sensor, that's what it was doing. Just a one bolt on this little guy. Okay, millimeter. And uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it, it looked like it's deep enough. It could be deep enough to penetrate. Well, we got no option but to change it, but we're gonna remove this right here. We're gonna remove this right here. And uh, your ABS connector connects right down there. So just a tab that you're gonna squeeze. And this tab will come off. And then you got one over here. This is the fork that I'm using. It's by Snap-on. This little guy is made by Snap-on. So that's it, your ABS sensor is out. That's how simple that is. We're gonna take the new one here and Place it on, so very simple. We're gonna start from over here. We're gonna put this side in. It's gonna sit right in the bottom here. This is where it's gonna sit. Is it same? Is it looking same? Yep, it kinda needs to be squeezed in from the bottom here. Okay, it might not be perfect. So I always say get original sensor, okay? The original is the key to doing a great job. So I'm gonna have to kind of force this guy in a little bit. And it shouldn't be this difficult if you had ah, God, yeah, it's going in. It's not going in perfect, but I'm gonna get it in. Once I get it in, we'll put the bolt on. Okay guys, little bit of trick. I use the file to file the little bit of edges of this. And aftermarket is all this shit. Uh, that's all I could tell you guys. I told this uh, seller, my parts department, is that a good one? He sends me a picture of it. And that's it. Buy it or leave it. And he sends me the picture of the brand. Which is, because I did the bearing twice on this, and then the first time, it was my fault. I, all I said was send me a bearing. I've been, every time I, I buy something, and I also add, um, send me the good one. Give me, send me the good stuff, because that's cheap quality stuff, okay? You're going to save 40, 50 bucks on a bigger repair. Might as well get a better one, because that $50 is not worth saving. But anyways, I got a warranty people, so I don't like to do things twice. Sometimes I tell parts people when they buy it, 
Okay, the sensor is not going all the way, so I'm going to have to file a little bit more. So, let me get this guy all flushed up, and then we'll look at it. You see how there's a gap in the bottom? Can't have that opening, it's got to sit flush. Yeah, I can't seem to get that. I guess that's how it's just going to sit, but because as soon as I tighten this bolt, it comes back out that way. I should have paid attention to that in the beginning, but um, I'm not going to go back into the video to see that. So, what we're going to do here is, we are going to... Stick this guy in right here. So stick this here, this clip here, that clip there, and make sure, make sure you connect your sensor. It's only gonna go one way, and you can't put it the wrong way. It won't go the wrong way. Okay, you see how that went in there? And all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this little guy, and I'm gonna click it back in there. It came out of the housing. I'll stick it back in, but make sure it clicks okay like that. Anyways, I gotta put these clips in, but I can't hold the camera and everything, so these just stick right in. Make sure you reroute it the same way, other than that's gonna hit things and break things. And then we'll go inside the vehicle and reset the light. So I uh, completed the job. Gonna grab my light from here. Uh, I'm gonna reset the light, but prior to that, sometimes the light will reset itself. Uh, cold might stay as a memory, but I'm gonna drive this car from back to if you go for a spin around the block and Hopefully that takes care of the light other than that you're gonna have to put a scan tool on and reset the light Let's see in our case One of the light is gone that is gone too So ABS light is still on that might be because it's a cord in the system but if you drive it around you see the other lights are gone okay only that abs light is there right now and uh nothing else is there so i'm gonna just put my scan tool on and um get rid of the light okay and then you'll see the code as well what code we had so got my snap on solo's edge hooked up this is a four thousand dollar scan tool you don't want to buy this stuff too expensive and it doesn't do all the vehicles <laughs> Anyways, we picked up the vehicle automatically. So 05 Mercury Mountaineer. Um, we're going to press OK. We're going to go to interlock brake. ABS with traction. Code menu. We're going to go into memory. Continue. And C1165. That's the code. And I'm, not, I'm sure you guys, this is not going to show it to you guys. If I do this, you might be able to see it. Okay, because it highlights it. Right rear speed sensor input circuit, okay? So all we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to go into clear. We're going to press clear. I'm going to just use this scroll button here. Continue. And code is cleared, okay? We're going to turn this off. We're going to... I saw the other light pop on right now. So we have no lights, but I don't know why I saw a light there earlier, but it's all done and set. Guys, thank you for watching my video. Go for a spin and stay tuned for more videos. Go for a spin and hopefully the light goes away on its own. If not, you got to get yourself a scan tool.